right? Hello, everyone. Sorry about all that silence there. I don't know if it was unnerving or relaxing, but welcome back to Unseal ASMR. We are here with the Charizard Super Premium Collection with the figure display. Comes with this Charizard EX promo card. So this is technically different than every other Charizard we've seen. But I'm sure you guys already know that from other people's videos, if you've been up to date on this product. But still very cool, very cool. I think we could see this display in action. I think it could technically display the card. Oh, I don't know if it fits with the sleeve. Good enough, right? Good enough, hopefully it doesn't fall out. You can see, I guess you have to have like a perfect fit sleeve for it to be the best. So if you like to top load your cards, it may not fit perfectly. Here, let's try. <laughs> let's try with a buddy buddy poffin. Stick him in there. Yeah, it kind of works. There we go. If it's snug as a bug in the mark, you just got to get it right. There you go. Shout out to Buddy Buddy Poffin. Um, oh, I swear that wasn't me. That was the figure. Charizard tooted. So this box comes with 10 packs. MSRP, $80. A little pricey. Definitely didn't buy it for that price. I bought it for much less. Thank you. Thanks to Paladin Cards. Um, shout out to them. I bought a few products from them, and they are... I, I, Definitely like buying from them a lot. They usually have really nice deals on their stuff. I used to buy from them a lot back in the day, and I just recently started getting back into it with them. So, not sponsored or anything. They're just good people. Um, Ed over there, he's the, the front runner at the shop, at least. Um, yeah, shout out to him. And he's Charmeleon, and the, the Charmander are full of swirls. I think there's, like, one right here. I don't know if it shows up well. It's, like, so much... Cosmic Fall. There's one right there, and I think there's like one behind his neck. Like right there, but super hard to see because it's like it's the pixelated cosmos. So if you guys know me, I'm a swirl collector. I love them. I love them even ever since I was little. And then here we have a Charmander that also has double swirls. There's one right on his hand and one right in front of his face. So yeehaw to that. Two promos with double swirls on them. Love that. Love that. So 10 packs, 3 promos, 1 big figure, $80, pretty worth it if you don't spend $80 on it, so if you did, it's okay, right, you got a cool figure out of it, Charizard is always a banger, I think the last time we got this was for a Rayquaza card holder, I don't know if that was an official Pokemon product, but I think that was the last time, that was a long, long time ago, but each of those big plastic containers that you saw me unbox, each of them had the same amount of packs, 1 Obsidian, one Paradox, one Temporal, one Twilight, and one Stellar Crown. So we pretty much took a nice little, taking a trip down memory lane from old to new. It's the same. Same for these guys. Obsidian, Paradox, Temporal, Twilight, and Stellar Crown. Those are the five most recent uh, Scarlet and Violet sets. I know it's crazy to think Obsidian Flames is a recent set, but technically, when you put it in this perspective, the past five sets, yeah, it is. Main, mainline sets, right? That box was huge, by the way. I couldn't fit it on camera. My desk is, uh, is not built for that. <laughs> so, sorry that we couldn't get a nice big view. Maybe I'll do a little, a little panorama, a little sh shot outside of this video. I'm doing a little photo shoot. Although it does feel weird since I already opened the box. I'll have to use the second one. Yeah, that's right. I bought a second one. I am a sealed collector after all, so I bought one. One to open and one for the shelf, because it is a really interesting product. A little clunky, but interesting. So, first pack of Obsidian Flames. We're just going to kind of go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I got to say, I like the pack collection, or pack selection, excuse me, collection selection, same thing. Not a big fan of Obsidian Flames, personally. Um, I think it's probably one of the weaker Scarlet and Violet sets, but I'm glad that we got a lot of the later sets, which are much, much better in comparison. Got Pon Sweet, Masquerine, and a Sizzler. All right. Yeah, pretty solid. Pretty solid here. I think this is a great... It's one of those where it's like a really flashy product when you first see it. Very, very flashy. 
like when you they put it on the shelves at Target, Walmart, all that, and it definitely like catches your eye. It's a big square box with Charizard in the middle. A really nice looking Charizard too. You know, it's kind of reminds me of those um those like action action figure Pokemon. I, I forget what they're called. They have like an actual license name, but kind of reminds me of that. Except obviously his arms. No, his arms don't move. I don't think. No, they're on there. <laughs> Snap it off. Like, yeah, yeah, it moves, I swear. Nope. Yeah, pretty cool box. As long as you pay the right price for it, in my opinion. Lunatone and Togekiss. Nothing out of Obsidian Flames. Paradox Rift, though. We are missing a lot of cards from these last few sets of uh, Scar and Scarlet and Violet. So, I'm again, I'm very happy with the variety. I know a lot of people... Probably wishing that they added a few more packs. I agree. I think it would have been really cool to take a full trip down memory lane. You know, do 14 packs in here for $80. That would have been amazing. Like, it would have been a contender for one of the top products of, of this era. They added four more packs. Two of them being Parad or Palia Vault. And then the other two being Scarlet and Violet Base. Just to kind of, like, finish the, you know, the ode to where we've come so far in this set. Or in this era, I should say. But, you know, I don't work for the Pokemon Center. Or the Vessel, that's a good one. I'm going to put that one off to the side. Um, you know, I don't work at the Pokemon Center. I don't, I don't call the shots, so they're not asking me anything. Let them run their business how they want. Garganacle. Garganacle. One or the other. Alright, second paradox. If you guys are chronically online, like I am, um, I've seen quite a few people open this product. Not everybody. I don't have, unfortunately, don't have the bandwidth. Let's get all technical talk on you, corporate talk. I don't have the bandwidth to watch every single person open this product. So, but from what I've seen, the hits are tough. Right, the hits are tough. Am I saying that Pokemon Center made the hits tough? No, not really. I guess it's more like these sets are pretty notorious notoriously tough sets to get hits from, so it just kind of like adds up, you know, it's one and one. Never mind. Yeehaw. I just gotta keep saying that, oh, these hits are so hard, these sets are tough, you know, oof, jeez. We're never gonna get anything out of this box, oh, no, no, no. Oh, poor me. Beautiful Garchomp, though, beautiful. I love the gold EXs, they look really good in this set. The backgrounds are very flashy. Temporal Forces, and probably this was my favorite set for a long time, even though it did Beep and I very, very dirty. We couldn't pull all tarts for anything, and then we opened two, um, we opened two three-pack blisters that I just bought off a whim while we were taking a Target trip for groceries. Don't judge us for getting groceries at Target. We don't get much from there, okay? Just say, just say. We're Costco guys. Just say. Look at that Pikachu. Um, but yeah, I bought two random blisters, and out of those six packs from those two blisters, they were both Cleffa, the Cleffa promos. We pulled three alternate art, or three special illustration rares, so it was pretty freaking nuts. That was the best that we did. <laughs> Outside of that, we were getting our, our souls crushed. My right on. It's how it goes sometimes, right? It's how it goes. You just get absolutely wiped off the face of the earth some of these packs and some of these products and it just takes that one random thing right that one random blister single pack blister right like another example i'm yapping i know i'm just trying to pass the time i'm enjoying talking to you guys so if you don't like what you hear and just mute me or just put me on 2.5 speed or something i don't i don't mind um but sometimes it just takes one pack one time uh you know beep and i were we're out with her family and a few of us kind of like separated we went to i went to best buy there was one pack of paldea evolve left i was like screw it let's buy it. it had the magic carpe r in it so anything could happen anything can happen you just gotta stay vigilant right never stop gambling 99 what is it 99 percent of the people give up right before they they strike gold so, i'm giving great advice to you guys right never stop gambling never stop giving no no I always say, take care of your wallets, first and foremost. Take care of your wallets. 
a huge advocate for that because I've been on both sides of the coin. All right, Minipede, Aaron, Sancho, Chansey, Diplin, Cramorant, Kieran, Minipede again, Flavibe, and Enamorous. Surprised we're not getting a lot of uh, a lot of baby hits, a lot of like just the regular EXs. I don't know if that's good or bad. But Twilight Masquerade, last pack for that. And the show goes on. I didn't do a cut for good luck, did I? Did I? I thought I did. Yeah. Oh, I did it again. Doing like ghost cuts, just little imaginary cuts. All right, third to last pack magic. Let's get it. Water, Dracula, Poliwhirl, Tingle, Shinx, Ariados, Accompanying Flute, Slurpluff, Slurpuff, Slurp, Slurpluff, Slurp, 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 Slurp. Ooh, here we go. Full art caretaker. I do not have this guy yet, so I'm happy to happy to see him, even though I know he's probably not a fan favorite. Very cool. Very cool. Alright. Last two packs. Two stellar crowns. I am missing just about every card from this set, pretty much. Missing like 90% of it, so even if we get the, the crappiest AR you could get from this set. That is a win for me. I'm not gonna complain. Let's see. Let's let's get an AR. Let's get some kind of illustration there, right? We're due for one. This box gotta have a little more. Just a little more. Gotta squeeze it a little bit more. Squeeze it dry. Got fighting energy. Not going in for good luck. Just pleasantly asking anybody home? Anybody home? Bombardier. Briar. Tubbull. Got Raging Bolt Holographic. That's nice. I like the way that looks. Got Grim Snarl. Oh, and a Rainbow. Rainbow Holographic. I know it's just a full art, but I like the rainbow. Cinderace EX. Terra. Terra EX. Bootyful. A lot of full arts. A lot of full arts in this box. Oh, mama. Let's see. Are we going to finish with a, with a bang? Or with a toot, a little. Let's find out. Here we go. Last pack magic. Everybody better cross your fingers, cross your toes, cross everything you, cross everything you own. Water. Tortuga. Espathra. Glamiao. Panchan. What? One of Peep's favorite cards. Gravity Gemstone, Eldegoss, Crispin, Fletchender, followed by Area Zero, Underdeaths. And we finish with a Mel Metal. We end with a Toot. And that's okay. I think we did pretty good. Honestly, from what I've seen from other YouTubers, I think it's a pretty dang good turnout. So I'm happy we pulled a little sum sum. I'm happy to be able to pull all these packs. I'm happy to have paid a good price. Once again, thanks to Paladin Cards. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. Just a happy customer. I promise, guys. So, thank you to them. And thank you, of course, to you guys for being here, for watching the video. I appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart. Please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and of course, leaving a comment telling us what you like, what you didn't like, what you want, what you want, what you want, what you want. Just love to chat with you guys. And most importantly, take care of yourselves. Take care of your wallets, especially with this product. Take care of your wallets, even though it's pretty dang cool. Take care of yourselves, take care of your wallets, and I will see you all.